Good evening, Northeast Kansas. Thanks for joining us here on KSNT News. We are tracking more rain. In fact, rain, rain, and more rain is on its way. And you might be thinking, Christina, it's April's Fools. Maybe you're joking. No, seriously, we are tracking even more rain. This is not an April Fools' Day joke. Unless you count some of the dry time we'll mix in in between, not going to be a complete washout for the next few days. We did squeeze out some sunshine earlier outside of Junction City, but that is now departed. And a very similar scene outside of West Topeka as those gray skies really just won't budge all too much. And that's kept us a little bit on the cooler side for today. We're sitting at 52 degrees right now. Haven't recorded any rain at Billard Airport, but. That looks like it's going to change. Now, it's been the cloud cover in some of the rain cooled air, especially for our northern and western counties who did see some rain this morning. That's kept us in the 40s and 50s. 52 here in the capital city, 50 for Burlington, and 52 at the Little Apple as well. The winds are starting to die down in spots too, but some of our eastern counties still dealing with a northeasterly wind at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. And that's part of the reason too we've been cooler, but as well as the cloud cover that is now shifting our attention to the showers that are pushing through. And in fact, Junction City is just on the outskirts of this pretty potent cluster of showers. Now, no lightning strikes you'll notice are being detected within it. So this is more so a threat of moderate to heavy rainfall. And like I said earlier, more and more rain is on its way. Even as this little line pushes its way across northeast Kansas, we have more rain on its way that you see towards western Kansas. And then we turn our attention to our next storm system. This is why we've been so cloudy and just unsettled for the past week or so, because we keep getting rounds and rounds of these storm systems developing. Next one is circulating over the four corners now, and that gives us a rain chance for late Sunday into Monday. So let's break that down for you with Future Track. Overnight tonight into the morning, that's when the widespread rain starts to move through. You'll want the rain gear as you're uh, kicking off your morning tomorrow. But I think we'll get some breaks of dry time, not necessarily clearing out all too much, but those showers turn much more on the scattered nature and they'd be more of lingering showers. Then the next storm system comes in late Sunday into Monday morning. Now, this one could allow a couple of rumbles of thunder mix in as well, but we're not expecting severe weather out of this. It's a very low chance of that. And even as we work through the day on Monday, we'll see that push off to the east, and it looks like we'll clear out behind it as well. For tonight, though, dropping to a low of just 48 degrees with increasing rain chances across the region. And our KSNT storm track seven day forecast shows, again, those. Other chances of rain for the next few days. The chance of thunderstorms could be there for Tuesday. The chance of them being severe, though, still looks to be relatively low at this time, but something we'll keep an eye on. But otherwise, look at the end of the week for next week. Dry weather and some sunshine back for Northeast Kansas.